My name is Matt. I was raised by a strict mother since childhood. I studied hard and always got excellent grades to meet my mom's expectations since she was a single parent. I graduated from a top university and got a job at a top company. From there, I worked hard and finally made it up to the manager's class. My mom, who has supported me all these years, had an unexpected car accident, hurt her leg, and needed nursing care. So she had to live with me. At that time, I got married. So me, mom, and my wife Rachel started to live together. We're having roasted chicken tonight. Roasted chicken, that's my favorite dish. I thought so. What time are you coming home? If you're late, I'll eat first. Your mother needs to go to bed early. It's bad for her if she's up late, right? Well, maybe around 8. You can have mom eat first. What about you, Rachel? I don't want to eat with her. It's not fun to talk with her. I'll eat with you. I'll be starving, so come home early. Okay, I'll try my best. It's not that I'm asking you guys to be close, but when I'm not around, look after mom. I know it's hard for her to do it by herself. It's your job. If she needs help, hire a caregiver. I can't help her. We can't afford it. You don't have to do anything. But like talk with her or or at least be careful from accidents. I know. Thank you. I'll be home as soon as I can. Things were going well with me like this. But I guess she didn't like the idea of living with her mother-in-law after we just got married. She didn't seem to have a good impression on my mom, but there was no problem with her. So I didn't mind. Sorry, I have to work late again today. I can't finish my work. Maybe I'll stay overnight at my coworker's place. He lives near the office. Is that okay? I don't think that's a good idea. It's disturbing. Can't you catch the last train? You won't be home today. Yeah, I'm sorry. I probably won't make it. I thought about taking a cab, but he told me to stay at his place. I have to get back to work early tomorrow, so I'll probably stay there. So you can sleep whenever you want, okay? That's fine, but wait a minute. What happens if your mother wants to go to the bathroom? I don't want to get up if she calls me in the middle of the night. I mean, it's so dirty. I can't do it. I can't. No way. I'm sorry, Rachel, but can I ask you to do it? I'm too busy with work too. I can't do everything. Even if you ask me to do it, I can't. Why should I take care of her? I won't. I'm not her blood relative. So why should I? Please, I really can't take care of her today. You know she can't go to the bathroom by herself at night, but she can't stand it. Then she can wear a diaper, right? Adult diapers, there you go. She's a grown-up. She should take care of herself. How long is she gonna keep you near her? Plus, she's making a wife take care of her. You don't have to be so rude. Then I'll take a cab home. I'll take care of her. I'm going back to work now. I've been working a lot over time lately. I feel bad that I'm coming home late and late every day. But I'm exhausted. Even though I'm tired, Rachel didn't take care of her. I didn't feel good about it. Of course, she's my own mother and I was going to take care of her myself. But I felt a little angry because it felt like she was making fun of all of the people who need care. 
I want to talk to you about something today. I'll be working overtime from tomorrow, so I'm planning to tell you today. What do you want to talk about? Don't say at the last minute I'm going out tonight. You said you weren't working late, so I made plans. What? You're going out? You didn't tell me. Do I have to tell you? When you get home, you're with your mother all the time. It doesn't matter if I'm not there. I need a break. So I'm busy today. If there's something going on, can't you tell me now? It's your lunch break, right? You want me to text you about that? It's pretty important. Why not text? I have things to do too, so hurry up. Okay, fine. I heard you're making mom clean the house. Can't you see she needs care? You can't force her to work too hard. What if it gets any worse? Her brain is normal, so she'll be fine. She can at least clean even though her legs are bad. Look, wouldn't it be better for her to exercise than to stay calm? She can wash dishes and cook if she uses the counter chair. Those chairs are tall, right? How can you be so ruthless? You should take better care of her. You can do the housework too. Why do you keep putting it on her? Wait a minute. Who lives in the house? You earn the money. Then what about me and your mother? Why do you have to do all the housework? Shouldn't your mother do it too? I don't make her do everything. We share the work. She can't just eat and sleep for free. Can't you see that she needs care? I feel bad for you, Rachel. That's why I buy you what you want and give you allowance. That's not the problem. The problem is how she lives. I just don't like when she doesn't do anything at home. Then do you want me to make her stay in her room? Would that be better? What about laundry? What about the dishes? You want me to do it? You're not solving the problem. I'll do mom's part. You can leave them. Now, okay? I don't want you to make her do anything anymore. I don't want to push her. I won't complain if you do them. I'll leave them then. I didn't expect Rachel to have this kind of feeling towards my mom. I was honestly surprised because I never imagined. But I guess it can't be helped. I work overtime every day and can't help Rachel. And even if I could go home early, all I do is to take care of my mom. I guess a wife and mother-in-law are like oil and water. I regretted myself and decided to go on a trip somewhere after the busy season. Good news! I'm coming home a little early today. Actually, I'm planning something. I'll tell you when I get home. Don't be surprised, okay? Oh, what is it? Tell me now. You have to take care of your mother again. You'll be busy, right? Actually, I'm planning a family vacation. Maybe next month we can go to Hawaii. Really? What's up all of a sudden? It's not as sudden. I just want to have fun together once in a while. Maybe that's a good idea. Well, let's talk about it again when you're less busy. Yay, I'm excited. Me too. Rachel seemed to be happy about it. I was happy that we could finally get our marriage back on track. And I quickly finished work that day and went home. It had been a while since I had a face-to-face -face talk with Rachel. I went to work the next day in a good mood. And then I got a call from my boss. I'm sorry, Matt, but you're going on a business trip next month. I'll send you the details by email. Business trip? Maybe for a week. I know you were planning for a family trip. I'm sorry. Family trip? What are you talking about? Did I tell you? No, it's just a guess. A guess that you're going on a trip. Ha ha ha. You know it's a vacation season. You were free next month, so I thought maybe you're going on a family vacation. Isn't that what everyone does? Right. But if it's a business trip... It can't be helped. I wondered why my boss mentioned about family trip. 
but I was more worried about my mom. Would she be able to stay home alone with Rachel during the business trip? But I had to go on a business trip. I had no choice but to try to persuade her. Actually, I'm busy at work, and I will be late again today. And there's one thing I hate to say, but I have to tell you. What's wrong? I've got a certain business trip next month. Oh, that's too bad. Let's go on a trip next time. And I was wondering if you could take care of my mom during that time. I'm really sorry, but you're the only one I can count on. I can't do anything while I'm on a business trip. I understand. I'll take care of her while you're away. Really? That's my honey. That helps a lot. Thank you. I was quite happy that she accepted my offer so easily, but I felt strange. She hated her so much, but she accepted so easily. But I didn't have time to think about it. And the day of the business trip came in no time. I went on a business trip. I'm gonna have dinner with your mother. I'm doing great, right? Thanks for taking care of my mom. I'm glad you're kind of enjoying. I'm sorry for leaving it to you. I'm gonna buy you some souvenirs, so please wait for me. I received a picture with my mom and Rachel for a week like this, so I was able to concentrate on my work. I was relieved that she was doing well. When I got home, I thanked Rachel and gave her a souvenir. We talked for a while since she was in a good mood, and then I went to see my mom. Rachel said she was going to bed. I was planning to talk to my mom for a while, but she told me an unexpected fact. I never thought that such a thing was possible. To confirm the truth, I decided to wait until the next day time by being nervous. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm at home. I don't have anywhere else to go. Are you sure? You think I'm lying? Well, what's going on all of a sudden? You're at home? Yeah, it may be true, but it's my boss's home, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Don't say something impossible. You're cheating on me. You don't have to hide it anymore, and you've been cheating on me all the time while I was away. You even promised to meet him at his house at this time today. You two are so gross. Hey, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying, right? I know all about your affairs. I'm not cheating on you. Oh well, if you're insisting like that, why don't you send me a picture of where you are right now? Fine, you're so skeptical. You're so prepared. I didn't expect you to have prepared all this. Wow. Then what's this? Real-time footage of our house. What the hell is this? It's a robot that watches over you. You don't know? I bought it because you wouldn't take care of mom. It takes pictures from the robot's eyes, and by the way, it's got great audio. This is voyeurism. It's an invasion of privacy. I bought it for mom. I didn't expect I'd know something more, and it just happened that I caught you cheating. You didn't think I'd find out, did you? I work late a lot, so if you could meet him at home, you'd have an alibi. You could have cheated on me all you wanted. I thought it was strange because you hated mom, but you accepted to take care of her so easily. And my boss mentioned about the family vacation, even though I didn't tell him. It's not my fault. He asked me to stay with him. I couldn't say no. It's true. I'm sorry. You don't know how long that robot has been there. Six months ago, the affair started three months ago, right? It's all recorded. You called him from your side every day, huh? That guy asked you out. You were talking in a very good mood. That. 
By the way, my mom told me all this. I don't know if you underestimated her because she needed care, but she only has bad legs. Everything else is fine. And yet, if you were cheating on me at home every day, I'd find out. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I missed you. I won't do it again. Forgive me. I only have you. Getting divorced. I've made up my mind. I don't want to be with you anymore. And by the way, there will be punitive damages since you harassed her. Be prepared. I won't back down. Wait a minute. I don't have the money for that. I don't work. You know that. How am I going to pay for it? Why don't you get your partner pay for it? I'm sure he's a very well-paid executive. So why don't you discuss that with him? Rachel was saying something more, but I stopped talking to her. While she was gone, I had a moving company move all our belongings. She kept calling me during that time, but I ignored all of them. After that, I filed a claim for punitive damages through a lawyer. And as a final touch, I sent photos of the affair to all the employees' computers in the company. The rumors spread all over, and all the women hated the boss. Of course, he was relegated because of the affair, and his annual salary dropped drastically. By the way, it seems that they got married right after my divorce was finalized. And they are now busy paying the punitive damages together. I'm glad we got divorced. I guess the person who lives life wisely wins. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.